Hello and welcome to another Fast and Awesome. Today we're going to review the new Emacs 2306 2400 KV quadcopter motors. So stay tuned and find out what I think about these damn motors. Now, if you're into racing, these things are pretty sweet, but some have called these the V8s for your quad. Now, as you can see, I got a little five inch frame here, and then this is a little bit of a heavy quad, so I decided to go with the 2400 KV motor. This is a new quad, and I have had success with my other five inch quads. Uh, this one, this one's a rocket ship, this one's a a 5 inch 2, but this one's running the Emax 2600 KV motors and then I like to bog them down with a little bit of a 4 inch, I mean a 5 inch by 4 prop. So this thing hauls ass and it loves the props because the 4 props will give you a lot of thrust if you're stuck in shitty situations. <laughs> but with this I figured if I prop these up to a four prop, they would be really nice. Because then they, I figured they'd keep me at a happy amperage rating with the heavier prop. But I was wrong. These motors are power hogs. Super power hogs. Compared to this quad with four inch prop, these motors destroy the 2600 kV motors on amperage. Like just destroy. So you can't run this down with a three prop, but then you, you find yourself babying this these motors a lot because you got to save your battery so a lot of these races I'm doing are two minutes long so within a minute I am like out of power running this quad and I like to run a heavier quad because I feel like you can adjust it you can drop it and just flies a lot nicer than a lighter quad so they say these 2306 motors are actually designed for like a super lightweight quad like the floss something that's really really light so then if you're running a super light quad super light super like nothing these motors will be fine because then the amount of amperage you're going to draw is not going to be too much to really notice with how much weight you're moving now i'm sure if i took the gopro off this these motors would do a lot better efficiency wise but for me my flying style they're just not for me so i'm a little sad i got them so now I gotta find another motor because they're just they're just not racing material for long tracks. Now if you're a freestyler, these will be great and then you'll just wanna run a really light prop on them. But other than that, I'll show you some of the race footage of these motors and then you can decide, but I'm um, sorry I didn't DVR it, but I hate and love these motors at the same time. Come to an end. They're awesome because they stay at a more efficient amperage when you're forward thrusting. But whenever you go to do any punch outs, you really have to just stay away from the throttle on these or else you're just gonna flatline your, your battery current in no time.
that's my review of the Emax 2305. Yeah. Yeah. 2306 and the 2400 kV motors. So you can just go ahead and if you're interested in these motors, I'll leave the link below. And other than that, that's, that's my review. So right now, I have a recommendation. If you're in racing and you use five inches, you're gonna want at least a 2600 motor because it will just, it just gives you a better middle range of the best of both worlds. Where I have a 24, 2300 kV motor with the 2205s, you know, and then it just doesn't have the top end like the 2600s, but you will fry some motors. All right, yeah. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for my more home improvement and quadcopter madness. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.